would you have imagined, especially before the tournament, Spain eliminated by Russia? What's your reaction? <laughs> my, my reaction is this, this wildly entertaining World Cup continues as well with underdogs now upsetting the big teams. I'm telling you, you said two early goals. Then Russia parking got fleet of tanks, tanks. in front of Not their the bus. Uh, tanks. in front of their goal, and and Spain running out of ideas in the final third. This is the end. I mean, it's just unbelievable. The spec this spectacle is, is called the slow and painful death of possession football that got Spain to the World Cup trophy in 2010. It's about speed. It's about youth. It's about counterattacks right now. It's about not giving up goals. And Spain, they struggled through the group phase, 3-3 against Portugal, barely got a tie late against Morocco, 2-2. That's five goals, six given up as well, with guys like Piquet, Ramos, De Gea, who had not a good tournament, and obviously the Man United goalkeeper. A, a thousand plus passes, 80 wow. to 20 possession. Incredible. But... At the end of the day, when you get in that final third against a compact defense, it's very important that you can do what Barca still is able to do, but Spain is not. Not enough width, too narrow, which became easy for the Russians to defend. And you know what? Give the goalkeeper, Ankiev, just during the game, great saves. CSK Moscow goalkeeper. And then, wow, that save at the end where he goes the this penalties. way and the leg. Yep. Unbelievable. So, obviously, the last World Cup, last time in Spain for Andres Iniesta. Yeah. Did not He's, start, by the way, today. He did not start. And, and he says goodbye after two Euros and one World Cup. Like you said, a lot of possession football. When I think of Spain winning, they do have answers in that front third. Yeah. What happened between the last World Cup, those Euros, and now this one, where they have all the possession but none of the goals? Uh, correct. I mean, at that time, and now we're talking about eight years ago, the revolution of the game in the last eight years has been incredible, and incredible in terms of, of tactics. Teams now, even good teams, are willing to concede possession and sit back and have their better players even sacrifice, like the Mbappes, Brisbane, to work hard without the ball and then go forward. And 2010, the game was stretched. It was quite open. It was easier now with Iniesta and with the players, obviously, that uh, were dominant with Real Madrid and Barca to play combination football. Speed of play and speed of thought was important, making quick decisions. And in this World Cup, somehow, the legs, I think, could not keep up with the brain or vice versa. So real quick, after the Euros and now the World Cup, are we ready to say close the door on Spain's golden generation? It's done. Absolutely. Uh, without a doubt. It's time, like the USA, does reboot. The Germans called that, you know, uh, 20 years ago. Same for Argentina. Same for Portugal, really. An older team as well. Same for the U U.S. Young team. One run against France with uh, average age of 22 years. It's time now for Ramos, Piquet, Busquets, Iniesta yeah. to move on and give younger players like Aspas a, a chance to now get to the Euros and the next World Cup. So Russia moves on, and, wow. and the bracket of life <laughs> is really the bracket of life because Spain's now Good. out. I mean, advantage Good. Belgium and, and advantage, not Belgium, advantage England, but Russia moves on. Possession about 80-20, how did they do it, and how can they do it again moving forward? Uh, you're talking about Russia yeah. being able to sit back again. They, can, they took a page, I think, out of Uruguay's book. They took a page out of Denmark's book. You take a page of, of some of the teams that are still in there, including Sweden, you know, that, 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 that defend, we call it, with a block of eight. And, and the most important thing there, Casey, is drop so you don't allow space behind you. Like French killed Argentina. Argentina, again, more possession. You get your lines up, your lines up, and all of a sudden, your back four is around midfield line with 50 yards behind you. And then space and speed will, will absolutely kill you. So the mantra of these teams have been a block of eight, stay compact, keep your lines together, squeeze in here, and if there's no width on the other team, the fullbacks can come in comfortably, and you can double all the way in about a 40 by 40 area. And then in... In, in the turnover, the transition going forward is where you can hurt teams. We'll see if the formula works going forward for Russia. Crazy. It definitely worked today against Spain. La Roja's tournament is over.